Hi, so this is the second video, uh, I think on the playlist that deals with using quadratic equations in order to solve uh, word problems, or actually they're usually given as area problems. Now a couple of things with this is that these are usually pitched at about a A star type grade, so you need to be fairly familiar with how to factorise, and if you need help with that, if you have a look at the other playlist, that will help you. However, I'll give you some idea of the question and then you can uh, um, work through it or you can have a look at that playlist as well. Okay, so this particular question deals with an area of a trapezium. Okay, so trapezium is a four-sided shape and what we're told is this is x plus two, uh, right angle there, um, this is x minus five, right angle, and this is x plus six. And we're told that the overall area of this trapezium is 36 centimeters squared. And we're being asked to prove or to show that this holds true and it just says x squared minus x minus 56 equals zero and we're being asked to show that for this trapezium that this must be true okay <laughs> all right fine well a couple of things that you need to look at first is that um, we've been giving an area so therefore it's going to be an area calculation. So let's just have a look at that for a moment. And the area of a trapezium, so the general formula for the area of a trapezium is a half, um, a plus b is it? Yeah, a plus b times h, okay. Well this a plus b is actually this dimension and this dimension. Uh, so we're going to add that and that. And then we've got to multiply by the value of h, which in this particular case is x minus 5. And we've got to make all of that equal to 36 centimetres squared. All right, so let's just have a little look at that. Um, I'm going to use uh, brackets a few times. You might need to stop the video a couple of times just to check that you're okay. Um, and hopefully it'll be all right for you. All right, so we've got... A half, well, that's fine, I can leave a half there. And at the moment, I've got A plus B. Well, let's look at what's inside the brackets. Well, A is going to be, um, don't, don't mind really, we'll call it this dimension, which is X plus 2. Okay, and we're going to add that to B, which is this dimension along here, which is X plus 6. Okay, when we've done that, we're going to multiply the whole lot by h, which is x minus 5. It all looks a bit complicated at the moment, but just bear with us a little bit and hopefully we should be in a position where we can work through this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear up what's in the brackets there. Okay, so I've got 36 still equals a half and I've got um, x plus 2 plus x plus 6. Well, if I remove those brackets, I've got x plus x, which is 2x, and I've got 2 plus 6, which is 8. Okay, and I'm going to multiply that by x minus 5. Okay, all right, so we're a little bit further on, and what we need to do now is deal with this multiplication. Okay. So uh, hopefully you're okay with removing the brackets there and what I've done there. Um, all I've done is if I get rid of these brackets, okay, and all I've done is really just gathered up the like terms. And I've said, well, I've got x there and x there. So I'm going to make that 2x and I've got plus 2 here and plus 6 here. So I'm going to make that plus 8. Okay. Other than that, nothing else has changed really. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is deal with this multiplication. So I've got a half times 2x plus 8. Well, if I multiply a half times 2, I'm just going to get x on its own because a half of 2 is 1, so it would be 1x. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply a half times plus 8, so that's going to be x plus 4. Okay. And that deals really with this bit here of this particular equation. Okay, I've still got this x minus 5, so now 
we're starting to get a bit closer to how a quadratic equation would actually look. All right, so I'm going to multiply out the brackets now. And bearing in mind, what I'm looking to do is get this to a situation where it proves and this area, which is x squared minus x minus 56 equals 0. Well, at the moment, I've got 36 equals these two brackets multiplied together. So I'm going to get rid of those. I'll multiply these two brackets together. Now, there are a couple of different methods of doing this. I tend to use something which is called crab claw. And again, if you have a look on some of the videos, that will show you that method. But I'm going to say x times x is x squared. And then x times minus 5 is minus 5x. Then it's plus 4 times x, which is plus 4x. And then I've got plus... 4 times minus 5 is minus 20. OK, and that also equals 36. So let's just tidy that up a little bit. OK, well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this 36 over to this side. Now, the way I would do that is I would minus 36 from both sides. Now, if I minus 36 from both sides, it means this side then becomes 0. So 0 equals, well that's great because that's what I want from the question. OK, and let's tidy this up a little bit now. So I've got x squared, can't do anything about that because it's a term all on its own. So x squared, and I've got minus 5x plus 4x. Well, minus 5 plus 4 is going to give me minus 1, or if you prefer, minus x. And then I've got minus 20 minus 36, well, guess what? That's going to be minus 56. OK, and that would answer the question. So what I've done is proven by using the uh, formula for the area of a trapezium that this is absolutely true for this particular uh, dimensions of this particular trapezium. OK, I hope that's OK for you. There are a couple of kind of throwaway questions that they tend to put into these things, which are all about uh, working out the longest side of this. And what I'm going to do is stop the video here and then I'll carry on in the next video and just answer the second question, which talks about the longest side. I um, hope that's OK for you. Uh, please do add a comment below. Please also subscribe to the site and I will look forward to seeing you inside the next video.